Hello everyone, we are going to be talking all about my top five eyeshadow formulas. This isn't eyeshadow palettes, this is actually eyeshadow formulas, which is a little bit different. What do I choose to put on my eyes if I'm just reaching for something and not testing it out, and what do I love? So I'm super excited about this video because it is a collaboration with my dear friend Mandy Lee and Heather Austin. Heather is new to me, but I have so enjoyed watching her channel. She does a lot of haul videos, which are great. She does a lot of um, tutorials and reviews. She does first impressions. She does tag videos. She just all around does some really great beauty. And she is in her 30s, and I think that just brings a fresh new perspective. She is also a Southern gal. You can tell from her accent, and she's just a beautiful person inside and out. And so I'm excited to do this tag with her. And Mandy Lee, Mandy um, is from my home state here in Utah, and we connected before on a video that we did a collab, and I will make sure that I put that video down below, but I just love Mandy's manner of making her videos. It's so laid back, it's so easygoing, and she just seems to be just like, she's just doing her makeup with her girlfriends. She has this gorgeous, flowing, beautiful, curly hair, and it's just so vibrant. She does a lot of seven looks, one palette videos, which are absolutely phenomenal. She just has a great way about her. I hope that you do decide to go over and see both of these gals and give them a check out. Tell them that I sent you and also that you would give them a thumbs up and possibly get to subscribe to them. Now, if you're new from one of those gals' channels, I want to say a special welcome to you today. Thank you so much for coming over and visiting. I hope that you do enjoy this content, and I hope that you get a chance to also look at some of my other videos and possibly decide to subscribe. So let's get into this video of what my top five formulas are for eyeshadows. This was no way an easy choice for me, you guys, because I have so many eyeshadow formulas that I love. I'm an eyeshadow junkie, especially palettes. I feel like there are so many good ones out there, but I had to narrow it down and I had to choose. So let's start out with Milani. Now the formula that Milani has right now is not a great formula. I'm not impressed by it, but what they had in these 16 pound palettes was magical. And if there's anything that a Milani person would ever be looking at this video, not that they ever would, I would beg them to make more of these and bring these back and then go ahead and just get some others going. They had the soft and sultry, and it was so pretty for a smoky eye. They had the bold obsessions, which gives you a few pops of color in them. And then they had the pure passions, which was a very warm tone palette with your basic oranges in here, kind of you know your burnt orange colors in here. They had the pink, the pinks over here, burgundies beautiful palette and then they had the most loved mattes and it had a little bit of your mauves in here again with your brownish orange and then your neutral brown over here okay first of all this is such a creamy formula and i'm not going to be able to swatch every single palette every single one but this one comes out of the most loved mattes and check that out you guys look at the pigmentation there and the blendability is there and they are so good i love these pure passion i'm just going to swatch a couple of the lighter ones and then the metallic the payoff on these is so great now if you are a mature woman and you can't really feel like you fit into shimmers anywhere these shimmers from milani are really great because they're a lot about the color and the brightness, not a high metallic. And I really do like that about them. You can see that there's still some shine, but they're not like high, high beam that shows up a lot of texture on your eyelid. This one is the soft and sultry, and this is your perfect smoky eye palette. If you have been wanting to do a smoky eye, you don't know where to turn, you could open this, just about throw anything on your eyes, and it would be gorgeous. It's just a beautiful, beautiful palette as far as all of those colors, all of the blendability on them. I love this. The formula is so, so good on these. I wish... I hope that someday they know what's going on and that they bring this back. This one is the Bold Obsessions. It just was one of those formulas that really 
captured me because of the blendability it stays on all day the colors are vibrant and yet they can be you know muted out with a big fluffy brush that kind of thing so love these oh my gosh i love these and they had to be in this lineup now you're going to find that most of mine come from the drugstore because honestly i have a love of drugstore and i do like some higher end ones but drugstore is kind of my jam it's one of those things that i love to be able to dupe out high end with drugstore but i have to tell you that from the drugstore these 16 pan palettes from la girl are so good now i'm upset because four of them that i have here are not available anymore this packaging is really good except for one thing the lid does kind of fall off after you've used them over and over again so i'm just going to show you these four very quickly that actually aren't in stock right now and then we're going to talk about the one that i like that is in stock you guys these are so beautiful and then this one is one of the hot heat ones that one has the pretty purples and the um, teal blues in it and this is a hot heat as well that is um, along the lines of very pink smoves those tones okay and so the one that um, I'm in love with that you can get is the mastery pro from LA girl and again this packaging super luxe it's plastic yes but aren't most companies plastic unless they're metal so what stole my heart about these was first impression on these metallics they are next level gorgeous they are so beautiful and i cannot say enough good about them they're just super pigmented they are like a dream across the skin look how bright and gorgeous they are oh my goodness you guys and then you step over into these mats and you are not disappointed they are so creamy i love playing with these they're just some of my my favorite formula ever and i cannot believe that this palette is only 15 dollars. so that is such a good deal for those of us that can't really shell out 50 60 dollars for a palette these are just beyond beautiful and i have just loved them ever since the first one came out and i know that there are so many people that have passed it over because you think la girl you don't think quality but wow, you guys, these are so good. So if you have the chance to, if this appeals to you, you have the chance to just know that you're going to get something that is really good. Now, moving over into ColourPop. ColourPop stole my heart such a long time ago. And their eyeshadow formula is really, really good. I do have five in front of me that I will quickly show you. I'm not going to swatch them all. But this is the meant to be one. These greens are so pretty. I'll just swatch this one for just you. Just gorgeous on those. This one is the Lilac You A Lot. This is all the good feels with purple and a little bit of a pinker tone in here. I just but completely fell in love with these nine pan palettes. They are just a beautiful form formula they are so rich so buttery pigmented gorgeous formula for an eyeshadow and it doesn't really matter which one you choose here's the blue moon one again just an absolutely gorgeous array of colors in there and i love these they are just exceptional quality and the way in their pigment and everything about them they're just absolutely gorgeous love these nine pan palettes i really really do okay and then on another nine pan palette that they did is the all things equinox this one is a very cool tone palette i showed this very recently but i wanted to show it here today too because this formula is leaning a lot on the metallics towards the super shock formula that they have which if i'm going to be completely honest that's my favorite formula and a lot of people don't like it but the super shock formula that they have is one that is just so very pigmented it's so very bright and it's one of those that i just was like oh man sign me this up this one there is just a couple of them that are the super shock formula but love that the next one is probably not going to be any surprise to anybody out there that watches my channel it is the juvia's place formula i love this formula i am wearing this one on my eyes today and what i did was i took this um peach color right here used it as transit as a transition color and then i went in with this color right here which is a neutral taupe as the kind of crease color deepen it up color this is on my lid and then these two colors right here the gray and the brown are the two that are on my outer 
corner in the um, outer corner of my eyelid. So love this one and you, you get to see that in action. My very first purchase from them though was the Magic Palette and you look at this and you go, whoa, I could never wear those colors. But just a little heads up if you want to go into this color these colors right here which are extremely neutral and then pop one of these either as a liner or just on your lid it's beautiful i do have a tutorial with this one too now let's talk formula this is so buttery so vibrant so pigmented and i when i very first got this i think it was probably three maybe four years ago i can't remember it was like not very long after they came out and i was just blown away by the quality in here these are very very pigmented they have a lot of beautiful bright colors i did have somebody recently tell me that somebody my age shouldn't be wearing colors but i won't give that up because it's something that i love and i enjoy and makeup should be fun this is the magic palace this is probably in the upper two for me for formula for blendability for make for getting really beautiful looks and when you look at it you're going to go oh my gosh how on earth do you get a beautiful look out of there i'm telling you guys this purple right here is one of the most beautiful colors on my lid and then i love the pinks in here i love even you know just the neutral neutral colors in here they're just so pretty so if you decided that you wanted a brown and you don't see a brown in here that you really like take this orange right here and mix it with the green right here just go back and forth a little bit and you're going to end up with a brown and i love this palette for its pigmentation for how gorgeous these colors and are the brown that i mixed together it looks a little bit more on the green side but that's kind of pretty so <laughs> i might do that sometime on a look then i also have the deuce palette this is actually my number one from them because i can open it and i just feel like no problem i got a look that i'm coming out of there with absolutely gorgeous i love this um bright color right here because it is a dual chrome pink color with a little bit of a purple shift in it so very creamy so very blendable absolutely gorgeous mattes that are never going to let you down you're going to be able to build up a look with that and you always always when you stick your finger in here you're going to feel that butter that richness that um, pigment and they stay all day on your eyes they're just they're so beautiful and this deuce palette stole my heart immediately when i got it and it is the one that i reach for the most to make looks out of so absolutely love juvia's place i think that because they're not afraid of color they put that richness into their formula and they just came out with something that was next level better than any high-end shadow that i have ever tried i actually prefer i know i know i know i prefer juvia's place over viseart I just do you guys i just think that they're that good honestly okay so my number one formula last year stole my heart it is the sydney grace formula of eyeshadows these eyeshadows they come in singles this is the enduring love palette let me just show you that really quickly you've probably seen that everywhere i know that you have probably seen the tiny marvels palette from mel this one's out right now and everybody is just going gaga over it and there's a reason it's just beautiful and then she has her singles which i went ahead and did one of my own obviously that's going to be chock full of purples and then here are some more neutrals and some pinks all right let me tell you guys i cannot believe how how blendable and pigmented and absolutely buttery rich hardly any fallout in here with these i just look at this and i feel inspired whether i'm looking at my neutral one whether i'm looking at my purple one i did have a video very recently where i swatched all of my purples and all of those singles and i will make sure that i throw that up in a card and also down here in the description box so you can see it but when i am wanting to be wowed by an eyeshadow formula it has to be the enduring love it has to be and i just talked about this not very long ago as well this palette um, is very cool toned i love it i love that i can get in here and there are some colors that just make me feel happy this color right here which is like a pink in the pan but you get it on your eye and it is this brightness and so if you're one that doesn't like um, anything on your eyelid because you feel like you've got a bunch of texture and wrinkles and crinkly skin around there check this out because honestly it is one of those ones that just about anybody can wear and then you have these metallics that even though you may have texture on your lid they show up and they are 
so buttery that they're not going to show up those wrinkles and i just i love this palette i love it because it's neutral i love it because it has so many cool tones in it i love it because of how it wears i love supporting an indie brand too i think that that's so important where in the you know where we live right now because these smaller brands they need a lot of our support and i think that it's really great that we any of us can do that one of the reasons that i love these so very much is because they're mica based and basically what that means is is these mats are going to have just a tiny bit of a luminosity to them it's not you know like it's going to take away from the matte effect what it is is that it makes them just so very buttery and creamy and easy to use especially if you have mature eyes i just think that they're absolutely gorgeous for that let me just quickly show you mel's palette because this is so good too i'm so in love with this this gold right here it's not really a gold it's got like a greenish cast to it so pretty i love this rose color that she put in here it's a rosy mauvey color and i love the lilac that she threw in here too those are some of my favorites the green is super pretty so there are just so many looks that you can come out of this with and just find that they are just so wonderful and i am not kidding you guys look at that look at the pigmentation i mean holy moly you don't have to use very much of this so even though this is a higher end you just barely touch your brush in there and you've got enough pigmentation to do so much with and you know blending it out and oh my gosh you guys they're just they're too pretty let me turn that right side up so you can see they're just gorgeous there they all are that is um just the two palettes so that is everything i hope that you did enjoy this video i really enjoyed being able to collab with mandy and heather and i thank them for doing this collab with me Thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I can't wait to go over and see what these gals have. Make sure you go over and show them some love too. I appreciate all of you being here. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out if you haven't already. I really do appreciate that. It helps my channel out so much. Have a wonderful week or weekend wherever this video falls for you. And I will catch you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.